Hi, this is the latest or, or new version of the to do backup software. This is version 6. I must say that I use this software from the version 4 over the two years and I'm very satisfied with this software. This is very stable, reliable and robust software. Like you see, this is the new version, version 6 and the main difference between version 4, 5 and, the, and this new version is the redesigned and new icons of the software design, user interface. This is a little bit fresh design, but the layout of the software is the same. You have backup, recovery, clone and tools. Very clean and very simple interface. We start with backup. You have two options, disk or partition backup or system backup. If you go into disk or partition backup, you have this option. You must check which of your partition want to be backup and with this icon you can browse where you where you want to to store this backup i already have path like you see when i where i want to store my backup the other option is file backup by default is checking my documents favorites and desktop this will include the same path you have chose for your system backup i must point to you that this is this option is check if you want to backup or to make the, the whole system image or in the other words the make whole partition image you can lately restore and if something going wrong with your PC or your operating system this is plain name you can change this and description you can you can add to know what you doing or the changes you make on your system image you can check sector by sector backup uh, this sector by sector uh, backup will increase the time and the the size of the backup image but uh, this is a very secure type of backup it's very stable and uh, if you want to be absolutely sure sure that everything will be backup and absolutely sure when you restore the image everything will be backup with restore with the image but for my experience you do not need to check this you have schedule backup i do not use this option if you like to from time to time to the system the software make their own backup but i do not use this option you have backup options it's very very nice options in here you have uh, you can change the speed of the making uh, uh, image backup I, I recommend to all of you to be to normal you have splitting options it's a very nice option if you want to uh, burn your image on the, the DVD or CD that's why you have options to on how this image will be split up if you run the backup of the Windows 7 or 8 I my, this is the option you will have, have to choose DVD drive 
you see the size of the split but you can check automatic or manual whatever you like priority it's the speed of backup on your computer you can choose high if I always keep on medium notification is very useful to send you email if if you have backups from time to time when backup is uh, finished the software will send you email this is no big deal option this is the the by default options are good enough for normal normal home user rest to initial settings if you something you're not sure or if something is going wrong this is how you can reset your option and back to to factory defaults i if when you check partitions to backup you go to i just this is a very nice options uh, uh, if you want to preserve image files or to be deleted if you make images all the time or this option will keep your hard drive clean or to save your hard drive space because i do not make all the times the the backup images i do not use this option but it's very nice for free version this is plenty of options included in this software you going we going to proceed you see how it's how it start you can you have option to shut down computer when operation is complete and you see how it work i must say that the the to do backup software it's not the fastest on the market but it's very stable and very reliable i will cancel yes like you see there was no bug software is work like a clock we're going to recovery option it's very simple this partition partition recovery or system recovery we're going to system recovery browse for backup to find my backup system image you must find system image to be with extension pbd okay you see the time when this system image is made very very nice option and you can see color legend of the partition very nice very nice back back data recovery you can choose to files if you recover only the files i do not backup only the files you have option of clone you can if you want to clone some hard drives from one to one or you want to to clone partition on the other hard drive i will not do that we have tools check image you can browse you must find image you have already made i will show you how it's check find system image here it is this is how it's check very very nice option i will cancel but you see the response of the software is very good and very fast you have very nice option here wipe that wipe that data i will do not use this option on my hard drives but it's very good to have 
erase times three times you have for example you, to be secure erase erase times from three to to up back enable prayer also it means that if you enable this option when you booting operating system from the start you will have option to uh, to backup or restore operating system from the ASUS PreOS boot menu. Mount and mount is mean if you already have image you can browse this image from your computer. I will show you how to do that. Here we go. And now it's mounted. We're going to next to proceed. Mount completed successful. If you're going to finish, going to my computer. And when you open, you will see local disk A open, and this is the, the boot image, the backup image I made. And you can browse with files and so on. Very, very, very nice option. This is the very, very good option too in the tools, tools menu. This is very rich options for the free software. Create bootable disk. I will show you what is this in this menu. You have option to make bootable image. You can boot with if your operating system cannot boot or is deleted or hard drive is damaged or so on. You can use this disk for for uh, rescue operation without having operating system. You have plenty of options here you can make this emergency disk on the USB drive on CD DVD or export to ISO file you can burn whenever you want I will make this ISO file like you see it's very fast ISO copy completed successfully finish this is this ISO file properties like you see is 55 megabytes very small ISO file management you see everything what you do with your hard with your backups logs what you are doing the some some history you run with to do backup and you have option of upgrade to see what is in the other version of the to-do backup software if you go into options what you have or you do not have in the free version difference between home and the workstation I must say that I'm very satisfied with this software and I recommend to all of you to go to my website and to download the free version and to try it's very good alternative to Acronis or to Norton Ghost. Thanks for watching.